Hi, I'm Ian from Stocks Farm and today we're going to talk turkey ready for Christmas. This is one of our Norfolk bronze turkeys. This is about five and a half months old. So we've spent the last five months roaming through the orchard, picking up the windfalls, eating the grass and a bit of corn every day. Our birds start at around about five kilos and go up to ten and just over. This is a medium sized turkey for us. This is about seven and a half to eight kilos dressed weight but that's the weight of the bird once it's been eviscerated. So that's been drawn, all the bits have been taken out of the inside and uh, it's ready for the oven. Uh, some places sell turkeys which are, they call them long-legged, which you have all the work left to do still. So that's the weight of the bird with all the innards still in it, but uh, we just charge by the weight. Today, to speed up the cooking time, we're gonna cut it as a crown. We're gonna bone the legs out and roast them separately to the breast meat, which will speed up the cooking time no end. And here's how we do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the tendons, cut in round the base of the leg, pull the tendons up. So we're just gonna cut down the bottom of the drumstick, like that, cut down to the tendons, cut all the way around the leg. So let's see on the top of the tendons. And then we're going to scrape the meat back just to expose these tendons and pull them out. And then get the carving fork, push in and try and pull these tendons up. So that's the tendons out, and then we're going to take the leg off. We want to make sure we leave plenty of skin to cover the breast to stop that drying out. So we're just going to follow down the inside of this leg joint here. And we just cut it back against the carcass, all the way down. I'm just going to roll it over. I'm just going to pull that joint out of the socket so it should go click. That's it. And we're going to cut around the oyster. Get all that meat out of there. Stroking the knife up against the bone so it comes nice and clean. And follow that seam all the way along so it comes off. That's the thigh and the drumstick. So we'll pop that turkey over there. So that's the thigh and the drumstick that we've pulled the tendons out of. And we're going to take the bone out of this thigh and drumstick next. So we're gonna bone the thigh out, take the meat away from the thigh bone. This is relatively easy to do yourself. But like any of these little tips, if you do struggle with it and you haven't got a sharp knife, I'll always be happy to do it for you at the market. And then we'll take out any remaining tendons, it comes away nice and clean from the bone, just let the meat, the weight of the meat just put itself away from the bone, we're going to use the bones later for the gravy. So it'll make a nice stock. And the same with the tendons, they'll all go into the stock pot together. So now we're left with a nice bonus piece of meat. Now we're gonna stuff the leg and the thigh with some of our sausage meat. This is orange cranberry sage and thyme. It uh, works really well with the turkey. So we're just gonna pop this into the middle and then we're gonna roll it up. Just put it into the cavity. It's going to make a nice little parcel, keep it nice and moist. We're just going to roll the thigh and the drumstick up. Like this. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either string it up, or the most effective way, which is really easy to do, is to do it in cling film. It's just easier than tying it up. So I'm going to lay a couple bits of bacon on there, and then we'll lay the turkey skin side down on the bacon. Bring the clean from over, 
keeping it nice and tight. push the meat in and we make a little knot like a balloon, twist it round, push the knot up as tight as you can, and the same on this side, squeeze all the air out, and then we'll just make another little knot this side. So that is our little turkey and thigh portion. We're going to roast it in the cling film, but to protect the cling film, we're going to put it in a foil and then it's ready to roast in the oven. So we get a piece of tin foil, we need to roll it so it's the shiny side in, so it's radiating the heat back in on itself. So it's really simple, just the tin foil over it, just makes a little parcel, that's ready for the oven. That's both legs done, wrapped in foil. We're going to put them to one side. We're going to carry on doing the crown, and then we'll pop the legs in once the crown's had about an hour and a half cooking. Now we get on with the rest of the bird. I'm going to finish off turning it into a crown. So we're just going to cut down either side and take this little bit of the saddle off. That's a big bit of carcass that we don't need. We're cooking. We'll, just... okay. nice. we'll keep all of the bones and the giblets that's going to make the gravy. So that is the turkey, that's the crown. We've just got the nice breast meat there. We're just going to put some bacon across this to help to keep it moist, season it up, pop it in a tray. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. I'm just going to put the bacon across. The turkey. This is just going to help to keep it moist while it's cooking. Just weave these inside each other to make it look a little bit prettier. And we're just going to sit it into a tray, deep roasting tray. Like so. And we're going to add a little bit of water into the bottom of the roasting tray. So we've got a cup of water just going in the bottom. I'm going to put a sprig of rosemary. And then we're just going to season it just with salt and pepper. That's all. So we've also got some cracked black pepper going over the top of the turkey a little bit of salt so we're going to fold the turkey now we're going to use the same little uh, tip that I showed you in the braised lamb shoulder uh, video so we're just going to stick the foil together because it's not quite wide enough and we're going to foil it over so we want the shiny side to go over the bird so the dull side goes up so it radiates the heat back in on the bird. So we just pull a foil over the top of the bird now. Right now we've got the, the foil is just about all the way around. Just left enough room to put my hand in inside. I'm just going to push the foil away from the bird, just so it doesn't stick. So we just pop this in the oven now. We've got the oven on at about 190 degrees centigrade. Um, so this will, should take about two and a half to three hours. That should be done. That's the turkey in cooking. We're going to get on with making the gravy. So we've got the bones we saved earlier from boning out. They're all here. We've got the giblets. So we've got the neck, the gizzard, the heart, the liver, all the bones, everything. Uh, we've got a couple of carrots. We've just peeled 
and chopped into chunks. One good size onion. We've just uh, caught, cut that down, quartered it. A couple of bay leaves. And we'll put a little bit of black pepper in this. We're gonna pop these on a little tray. We're gonna roast them for about 15 to 20 minutes just so they brown. And it's gonna to start to let some of the fat come out, um, brown the bones, which will give us a little bit more depth of flavor so we can make a stock for the gravy a lot quicker. Just gonna pop these. Okay, so we've got all the bits on the tray. We're just gonna put a little bit of black pepper on there. Just to roast in. And a little pinch of salt just to get it going. So we just pop this in the oven now to brown off. So that's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to brown off. While that's browning, we're gonna get a little bit of water on the go and uh, that will start to heat up, ready for the gravy. The bones have been in about 25 minutes. And the veg, that's nicely browned off. So we're gonna pop them in the pot and then we're gonna to start to make our gravy. So, click them in. bits of carrot and onion. Alright now we're going to deglaze the tray. Just going to uh, heat it up. So we'll pop that tray on there. We want to get all these nice meat juices off the bottom. It's starting to sizzle. A little bit of brandy. going to pour some water now just to cover over the bones. We'll just pour them over the bones. We're just going to leave that to cook out now for about an hour, hour and a half. Then we'll sieve it off. Okay the stock's been cooking now for about an hour and a half. We're going to double filter it. We're going to tip the stock through the colander to drain out the bones and then we're going to filter it back through again. We should be careful we don't get splashed in. It is very hot. Just going to double filter the stock. This is a, a Xinhua Chinese hat. It's a bit of a, a finer gauze. You could use a sieve, just the same sort of thing. This is a little bit more uh, industrial. So we're just going to pass this stock back through that. This will take out all of the little bits. Now we're just going to thicken it up. Just got a little bit of slate here, which is just corn flour and water. It's just knocked down, so it just becomes lucid. And we're just going to add this to the gravy until we get to the right consistency for what we want. It's nice and hot, so it's cooking out instantly. Now the gravy's ready, we'll just serve it up. Lovely. And then just to finish it off, we're just gonna give it a little bit of fresh orange juice with just a squeeze of orange. Squeeze of fresh orange. And that's our turkey gravy ready to serve up with our roast turkey. We've taken the turkey legs out of the oven now, just undo the foil. Have a look at these. Let's lift them off. What we do is we'll take them out of the clean film, and just pop them back in the oven for five minutes just to finish browning them off on the outside. Right, just pull the clean film away. Same with this one. Just, just pop them out. See how it's kept its shape lovely without stringing it. It's kept its lovely form. So we'll pop these back in the oven just for five minutes just to crisp the skin up. So they'll pop back in now. Here we go, it's the turkey crown out of the oven. It's had uh, three hours. Uh, that looks like it is cooked perfectly. 
Then we just pop a fork in there and make sure that the juices are running nice and clear. There's no, that's cooked perfectly. So all we've got to do now is just take the legs out of the oven and then we can put it all together. And here we have the turkey all finished, the turkey crown. Let's put the last leg out. So that's our two boned and rolled legs. Stuffed the orange and cranberry sausage meat and the turkey crown all ready to carve. Thank you.